Right now, there's no vaccine option at all for kids under 12. So as life shifts almost back to normal tomorrow for a lot of people, many families with young children aren't feeling that relief. CBS 2's Stephen Graves with some advice for parents as the city and state reopen. Stephen. Erica, a simple answer. If you plan to be around unvaccinated kids on a regular basis, especially if you do not have the shot, you should still be acting like you're in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> Stacy True has a 10 year old son and 11 year old daughter. My kids, th this is our time. Summertime is when our family comes alive. That means traveling, but not like normal. When we go certain places, we're kind of restricted to our Airbnb. You know, we're not a, a lot in the public. Pandemic precautions the family plans to keep. True has made the choice not to get vaccinated yet, but her kids are not even eligible. And as Chicago and Illinois reopen without capacity limits, I want them to stay masked up. Um, I'm a stay masked up myself. That's exactly the advice this doctor wants everyone to know. We need to do this for our children. Dr. Whitney Lynn is a family physician with Cook County Health. She still sees children 11 and younger who cannot get the vaccine contracting COVID. We could have prevented that one by making sure their family was vaccinated, but two masking properly. Dr. Lynn says vaccinated or not, highly crowded spaces mean the risk of bringing the virus back home to kids. The riskiest places are our bars, our clubs, and our concerts. The safest places remain outdoors, spacious areas for parents and their children. And even in those cases, masks are still encouraged. The Chicago Day Camp program, for example, is requiring masking and social distancing for campers. But even as parents try to live a free or maskless lifestyle, it comes down to leading by example, including for this doctor who has a four and six year old. But when we go out and do things because they have to still be masked, I still am masking myself is because I have to support them. And the doctor reminds people that while children might not get as sick with COVID, you have to remember the complications that might come from the virus later on in life. Now, when it comes to the vaccine, Pfizer expects to ask the FDA for approval for children ages 5 to 11 as soon as September. That's in about three months. Reporting in Bucktown, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News.